So those are like a guide arm? Uh, yeah, but it's One of the great things that I carry in my truck is this, you know, a roll of tools because you never know what you're going to need. You know why they call these knuckle busters? Because you will bust your knuckles. So they, they've set the positive at one size so you can't it helps those that may oh. not be very good at lining them up seems like it's always hard to come out in the spring and get things set up get things it's always batteries and fuel and getting set up but once it's set up then even just in an evening i can come out and cut boards for a few hours and and make a lot a lot of boards and what does it do to an engine if you leave it over winter without winterizing it? Well, the, the oil's not going to do anything other than the sediments, sludge, whatever. I, I just, I feel better if I have a fresh oil change and I'm ready to go for the summer. Um, but the biggest thing is the fuel. Gas goes bad so quick and leaving it in there always has led to problems. So I just, again, I feel better if I start the season with fresh tank of gas, fresh tank of oil, and it's just one less thing that I got to worry about as I'm out. don't have any words of wisdom on how to safely do that I I absolutely rolled the dice it could have gone horribly wrong I could have bent the frame I could have I, there's a million things that could have gone wrong I, I got totally lucky but everybody should do this everybody <laughs> so we've got our log braces here I'm gonna try and push this tree tight against the log braces a cam lock on the other side that lets you lock the log in place so it won't move around as the as you push the saw blade through it and you can see that with the cam device it locks it good and solid so it won't move as we start to cut and move the blade through it we want to remember that this is here as we start to cut down through the log it would ruin a blade really fast if we hit that or if we hit the stuff on the other side so we'll want to be aware of that as we go along and will there be much screeching and sparks when that happens or does everything just explode uh, it makes a horrible sound. The worst part of it is you feel like an idiot. Those big timbers are called cants. And we'll, then once we get the, to the, a good size cant, then we can decide, okay, let's turn this into boards. So we've got it squared up and now we want to cut it into some boards. So I wanted to take a look at how much, how much we actually have. So we've got cl close to 16 inches, pretty close to 16 inches. So I'm going to lose some 
thickness in the blade as it goes through. So I'm probably not gonna get eight boards, but I'll get, if I go two inches, I might be better if I go inch and three quarters. But I typically, when I'm cutting, I like the option of being able to downsize it or remill it or plane it or cut it later. So I like to do everything at two inches. So we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. And then I'm gonna mark this out every two inches, two, four, and that should, we should end up with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, good solid two inch thick boards that are eight foot one inches long and should be averaging 11. We can get some 10 inch wide planks out of there with plenty of room to rip, cut, run them through a table saw, run them through a planer, whatever it is we want to do with those boards. So I, I wanted to show you here on the top of our board, now that we kind of you knock off some of this. Now, if I wish I had some of these that were 12, 14, 16 foot long, and I'll, and I'll get some. I'd actually like to add another section of track, which is really great. Wood Miser makes that really nice to add sections of track. I can add to this rail system, I could add another planer head so that we could smooth it up if we wanted to. I like the rough sawn look. I I don't really need a planer head, but that's an option. And it works just the same as a saw head. You just roll it over it and it takes an eighth off and leaves it just as smooth as a baby's butt. But one, right here, we've got a mark. And it's we stalled or we, we weren't smooth in our transition with the saw. And so the saw paused here for whatever reason we weren't continuous or smooth so as you're running that saw mill along you want to keep that blade going and you can see down here we don't have too many a few little tiny lines across there but nothing major like this so i paused we paused so we want to be really fluid when we start moving we want to keep moving and and just be smooth and consistent as we go across the log Push it right up there where you can get to close to the mark. Let it down just a little. You did great, beautiful. Oh, there's two, there's two sides to it. <laughs> okay. So, the boards are turning out beautifully. The other, the other rookie mistake a lot of people make is they forget to knock the cleats down and end up hit ruining a blade. So, just something to be aware of as you're cutting. the luck of a cat he hasn't been squished and yeah he's alive it's very hot out and uh i am very badly burned but i'm still alive and happy 
Nothing like a happy sunburn. Yeah, that was a good day. We had a great time. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully, uh, are you ready to cut? You ready to cut boards in your underwear and your Every sunglasses? Every day for the rest of my life. Okay, so you're not scared. Not scared. Scared. That was so much okay. fun. I thought it would be more technical. I honestly thought there'd be more bells and whistles. Um, I think people, I think that's the thing with, with equipment and, and those types of things. They're, it's really user friendly. It's ergonomical and, and it may look intimidating. It may sound intimidating, but if you, if you get in and try it, you'll find, Hey, I can do this and Hey, I'm not bad at it. I can, I can cut boards. I can turn out lumber and it wasn't that hard. I think I wouldn't want to do it as somebody that was just taking the equipment out and I was just like, I'm going to do this because there were some little things along the way. At one point, I... Tricks. Tricks. Tips. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and, and so it's probably a good idea to work with somebody who does it all the time um, or does it a lot that's made those mistakes because I have made a lot of mistakes. And so being able to kind of say, hey, a little to the left, a little to the right, whatever it is. Slow down. Slow down, speed up, whatever. Um, you, I think it... it made it more comfortable and more enjoyable because there weren't any, you were able to avoid the mistakes. Yeah, there was no crying over spilt money or ruined equipment or I cut my hand off, those kinds of things. Yeah. We did good. We I, did good. Nobody, You're the only one who bled. Yeah, I, I cut myself a little, but I'm fine.